Hey there guys, for the sweet spot challenge, this is my entry, the Breakfast of Champions. I'm Darren Garrity, and this is the real buzz behind my cocktail. The Cook Marmalade Bitters is a zesty, bright, bitter ingredient produced in Dublin using botanicals from all over and specifically stuff sourced from Airfield. Uh, lemon thyme, um, hawthorn blossom, etc. So I chose as my other local ingredient is the dandelion coffee from Intelligent Tea. I've married that with Ollie's honey, the lupin uh, spring blossom, to make a syrup which has the beautiful honey notes, but it has a really robust, smoky, nutty vibe to bring a smoked element to the drink and a sweetness. My next ingredient is a heirloom tomato cordial. Heirloom tomatoes are a heritage breed. The seeds are passed from season to season and they rely on buzz pollination the likes of bumblebees and wasps, not honeybees. I've taken the heirloom tomato, I've added some lactic acid, some Irish sea salt and some Ollie's honey and I made a cordial and then this adds a great herbaceous acidity and freshness to the drink. It basically makes the drink shine. The next ingredient is kettle one, of course, the backbone of my drink, the pepper and the citrus notes marries well with all these fresh ingredients and allows the wisp of smoke to be playful but not overbearing. So I decided to throw the drink, so to give dilution in a controlled manner, but to also aeration, because I'll be adding a slight effervescence with the kombucha afterwards, which again, all plays into the drink being bright, uplifting with a wisp of smoke. And then we have an Irish breakfast tea and Ollie's honey kombucha. It's strong brewed Irish breakfast tea and Ollie's honey. It's fermented with a scoby. It's then, when it's finished fermenting, it comes out with this zingy tea, slightly tart, slightly sweet, effervescent, which actually brings a lovely lightness and length to the drink. But it brings everything together. So the garnish is a quail's egg, which is fried in rapeseed oil, which is bees love rapeseed. It's finished in honey, Ollie's Farm, Lupin Blossom, and then a little bit of Ollie's Farm uh, bee pollen. And it's to give an impact of thinking about how we can make little changes to what we do and how we buy and what we buy from who and their relationship with bees. Breakfast of Champions, again, inspired by Albert Einstein sitting at home, having his Breakfast of Champions honeyed egg, thinking about the theory of relativity, thinking about the future of bees and the existence of man. So finally, the drink is complete, the Breakfast of Champions. On the nose, you're going to get a bright, herbaceous, heirloom tomato kind of freshness, a bright, complex nose, touches of smoke, honey, um, on the palate, it's very clean, fresh, bright, with the kettle one being very much a big component of the drink, touches of pepper, saline, um, acidity, um, the smoke is in the background with the sweet, so it's slightly sweet, tangy, complex, and then on the finish, it keeps going on and on. And then there's, it just makes you want to go back and taste again, and every time you go back, it changes. 
and then very much so the honey is a star but because of the different processes to the honey it's not just a honey forward drink the honey is present and then in the components the honey has been changed the drink is just a cohesive very tasty very easy simple but complex hope you enjoy thank you